bellboy. Bellboy. The bellboy fell. The bellboy fell. The bellboy fell and yelled for help. The bellboy fell and yelled for help. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm joking. Why are you going to get out of here? Why are you going to get out of here? Hey. So please, yes, of course, here it is. Do you know where my secretary is? No, I'm sorry, I don't know. No, I... Excuse me, do you know where I can get a newspaper, please? A newspaper. No, I'm sorry. I don't know. Excuse me. Yes, madam? I'd like to leave a message for my husband. If he comes in looking for me, would you please tell him that I'll be waiting for him in the restaurant? Uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Madam, can, can you speak more slowly, please? I'd like to leave a message for my husband. He has gone out to buy a newspaper. I'd like him to join me for breakfast in the restaurant when he comes back. In the restaurant? Yes, in the restaurant. Thank you. Uh, lady, my... Oh, excuse me. What's your name, please? Mr. Porter, your room number is 1311. Here's your key. Enjoy your stay here. Thank you. I have carried it myself. I can carry it myself. I'll carry it myself. Can't you hear? I said I can carry this myself. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Porter. He's a new bellboy. He wants to get out of here. You get out of here. Mr. Porter, I I'm sorry. My English isn't good enough. That's all right. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. By the way, would you mind telling me the time, please? Huh? Oh, sorry. I, I don't understand. Ah, can you tell me the time, please? Oh, the time. S sorry, sir. I haven't got a watch. RTHK Radio 3, it's 5 o'clock. BBC World Service. The news, read by Murray Holgate. Yes, sir. I'm looking for my wife. She's supposed to be waiting here for me. Have you seen her? Sorry, I don't understand. I'm looking for my wife. Have you seen her? Your wife? Yes. Oh, uh... I'm sorry, I don't know, sir. In that case, I'd like to leave a message for my wife. If you see her, can you tell her I'll be waiting for her in the coffee shop? Sorry, I don't understand. My English isn't good enough. Well, can you get me somebody who can speak better English? Can I help you, sir? I'd like to leave a message for my wife. Yes, certainly, sir. If you see her, can you tell her to look for me in the coffee shop? Coffee shop. Sir, what's your name, please? Sir? You have English so bad, it's OK. There's still a time, I can't write the name of the people. Can I have the bill, please? Excuse me, can I have the cheque, please? I've been waiting in the coffee shop. Did you get my message? No, but I left you a message. Did you get it? No. Can you give me a ball pen, please? Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to Chung Chow, please? Chung Chow? Yes, Chung Chow. Oh, Chung Chow. Ah. Uh, uh, first, you go here, then you take a ferry. This is Changjiang. Can you explain more clearly, please? I am 
I'm sorry, madam. I can't help you. My English isn't good enough. Wait. I'm in. I'm in. He wants to go to the hospital. You want to go to the hospital? Is there anything I can do for you, sir? I don't think so. Thank you. Excuse me. Where can I find the telephone, please? Oh, over there, sir. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Are you waiting for somebody? Well, yes. I'm supposed to meet Mrs. Walker here. Is her name Mrs. Denise Walker? Yes, that's her name. Mrs. Walker is a guest here. She hasn't come back yet. I'll tell you when she comes back. Thank you. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Walker. Did you have a nice time? Yes, very nice. We bought a lot of things, and here's a little something for you. You've been of such help. Thank you. Oh, Mrs. Walker. Your friend is waiting for you over there. Ah, Denise. <laughs> I thought you were coming tomorrow. That's <laughs> it. There we go. I hope you got Let's look back at Tom when he first started his work in the hotel. Read the words on the screen together with the voice when you hear this. A. I... Excuse me. Do you know where I can get a newspaper, please? I'm sorry. I don't know, madam. B. Excuse me. Yes, madam. I'd like to leave a message for my husband. If he comes in looking for me, would you please tell him that I'll be waiting for him in the restaurant? I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean, madam. C. Excuse me. Yes, sir. I'm looking for my wife. She's supposed to be waiting here for me. Have you seen her? Sorry, I don't understand. D. Ah. Can you tell me the time, please? Oh, the time. Sorry, sir. I haven't got a watch. D. Can you explain more clearly, please? I'm sorry, madam. I can't help you. My English isn't good enough. 